So I wanted to do a quick video on this Dell Optiplex 3080 Micro and um, title basically explains the issue so you don't have to watch this if you don't want to but um, the problem is these won't turn on for people and if you're lucky the power button will blink and it'll give you a blink code telling you why and if it gives you three amber and one white that means the CMOS batteries died and that's why it won't turn on. If you're not lucky, it won't give you any errors and it won't do anything. It'll just be completely dead. And the reasoning behind it will either be demonstrated by the error code of 3.1, which is the CMOS battery. Um, but if it's just completely dead, I would check your CMOS battery. Make sure that it has a 3 volt charge if you have a meter. Or if you don't have a meter and you have a brand new CMOS battery on hand, you can swap it out. Um, one thing I would add is uh, this one here. Originally, it wasn't even given the blink code. I have two of these right now. But um, the other one is given the blink code. This one wasn't. And I'm like, all right, well, what the hell? So I strip it down completely, basically down to just the CPU. Still not working. And I'm getting mad. It's like, really? This thing is 10th gen. This is not that old. I can't believe it's dead and there's no you know, obvious physical damage to it, no charring or busted ports or anything. So I'm just like, whatever, screw it. Put it all back together. Decided to put a new CMOS battery in it because um, I didn't have the meter on hand. <laughs> I didn't feel like checking it, but I had one that was, and I knew it was good. Uh, still wouldn't turn on. Well, what you have to do from that point, assuming the CMOS battery is the only thing wrong, is you want to hold down the power button further with cover on but um, you want to hold down the power button and then plug it in and then in the case of this one it came back to life immediately it's not turning on right now just because I um, don't want it to boot into Windows but yeah so if you have one of these Optiflex 3080 micros and it's not turning on there's a good chance that your CMOS battery failed and that's what's messing you up. So I would try uh, replacing that if you know it's bad. And then as I said, hold down the power button while you plug it in. Just And that should bring it back to life. So hopefully that's helpful and thanks for watching.